Hi, I'm Justin Hilly, driving coach and SCCA national champion, and we're going to talk a little bit about maximizing traction. Tire grip is a scarce resource, and every input you make, whether it be steering, brake, or throttle, has to be blended together effectively to maximize the use of that resource. So a lot of driver schools like to refer to a, a string theory where the brake, gas pedal, and steering wheel are all connected with a string. And the reason why we have that is because the tires can only do so much at one time. The tires can perform 100% braking, but the tires cannot perform 100% braking and also steer. Okay, let's go into let's go into turn one here at Indy. Uh, you're braking hard, getting closer to the corner. You want to add steering. You want to get to your apex, right? But the only way that you can get there is by releasing the brake pedal as you turn the wheel. And if you can keep that at 100% maximum grip allocation, uh, the only way you can do that is by releasing the brake pedal as you turn the wheel. So when you're in the corner at your apex, you want to start accelerating. The only way you can do that is by unwinding the wheel as you accelerate. So you're always keeping tension in the string. If you break the string, you were trying too hard. If you have slack in the string, you're leaving grip on the table. And we're talking about maximizing traction. So what a driver will notice when he gets this correct, the proper application of throttle, the proper release of the brake, is a smoother entry to the corner and a smoother exit to the corner. You're not gonna create an understeer because you got to the power too soon. Um, and also in, you know, in a higher horsepower car, you're not gonna create some oversteer that you have to correct for. And on the corner entry, you're gonna find yourself getting to the apex of the corner easier without having to add as much steering because with the brake release blended in with your steering input, you're not having to use as much wheel to get to the corner. So you're gonna feel like the car is getting to the apex better. If you can do all of this correctly and smoothly and consistently, um, it's going to improve your lap times. It will improve your consistency. It will improve your tire management. And it will also improve your ability to feel what the car wants and, and, and make setup changes. Working up to maximizing traction is uh, it's a long journey. The only way to really get there in the long run is by just building good habits. So I hope that was all useful knowledge. Uh, please watch other drivers. You know, watch what they're doing with their hands and their feet. Uh, watch how their car behaves. And watch yourself. Uh, pay attention to your brake release. Get off the brake pedal as you turn in. Pay attention to your throttle input. And just be smooth. You'll go faster.